And the coin that we're going to be covering today, I have right here in my hands the 1963D Denver Nickel. And this specific coin does not have the error that we're going to be talking about. But I'll be able to use it in the next segment as a way to show you where on the coin you're going to be looking for the error. And then after that, we'll go to a PowerPoint presentation where I'll have photos with the real error and we can talk about the values and I can show you exactly some examples what you're going to be looking for. If you've got some of these 1,963D errors in your pocket change, I look forward to sharing all this with you on the remainder of the video. Oh, this is a pretty cool coin in that there's going to be more than one error. There's going to be one on the front and one on the back. The one on the front you're going to be looking for in the six, in the 1963, so that's one of them and the other one. We will be going to the back and you'll be targeting the mint mark, which is found to the right of the Monticello. So it's right there, as you can see, and I'll be explaining that along with the real pictures in my presentation. And here is our 1963D nickel. As promised, there are two different varieties that we're going to be taking a look at. The first one is on the obverse. In that six of the date, there is a very, very strong spread to the right of the coin and the estimates on this are very loose as there hasn't been much auction record, but I think that to be safe at minimum, you could expect about $10 for an AU50 specimen, $20 for a MS60 specimen, 35 when it kicks up to a 63 grade, and then $50 for a 65 grade. And then on the repunched mint mark aspect, there are a couple of replenishment marks. This is one of the cool ones. It's got a clear spread to the north there, and that's going to probably be about $1.20 AU. 50 coin probably hit about $1.50 and miss 60. Double that at $1.100 for an MS63. And then I could see $150 or $1.175 in the MS65. Remember, though, that there are people paying a lot of money for these replenishment marks on the nickels. So if you get a clear replenishment mark and you get it graded, you could have some value coming your way. So good luck finding these, and I hope to hear some success stories soon. Thanks for watching the video.